Good afternoon YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we are going to do an unboxing video with you. And it's not of orchids, it's not of carnivorous plants. It is of my new fertilizing unit that I just received. So I got this guy from uh, a company called Fertigate, fertigate.com uh, .au. And I'm going to put a link to the, the, the description. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for the website and that now. I'm going to remind you now that it's all down there um, in case I'm talking about these guys as the video goes on. And you're like, what, what was the name again of the, the website? Well, it's going to be in the description. I'll try to put it on the screen and um, give some photos of, of what it is as well. But this, this plain box here came to me super, super fast. So... Um, I'm already impressed with the speed of the shipping. It got to me from Australia to Canada in like five days. So this company has amazing shipping there. And this is called the, the Fertigo. It is a, a battery operated fertilizing unit. And we're going to unbox it today and sort of this is my first look at it as well. So I want to see what it's all about. And then, um, and then, yeah, we'll go from there. I'm not going to be fertilizing any plants with it, but let's try to get this thing set up anyways and um, see what it looks like. So I went for the, the battery-operated unit. These guys have two units, the Ferdy Go and the Ferdy Solo. Um, the second one there, the Solo, I would actually hardwire in, or not hardwire, but plug in. It needs an electrical outlet. So I would put it in the greenhouse, but it wouldn't be able to go very far with me because it's um, a non-portable unit. So I decided to go with the portable one because I am looking forward to doing some fertilizing this year. I've been trying to use a lot of seaweed fertilizers in the greenhouse, um, some more natural sort of fertilizers instead of um, instead of chemical fertilizers. But I find um, when I'm doing my fuller feeding, I'm gonna remove this razor blade and hopefully we won't need it again. When I'm doing my fuller feeding, I'm always like running out. Oh, I already need the razor blade again. And I don't have quite enough to do exactly what I want. So hopefully with this thing hooked up, I will be able to do just that and fertilize with um, some seaweed fertilizer till my heart is content. So let's have a look at it here. Now, I don't know what the best view is for you guys. There is everything packed in there quite nicely. Lots of um, bubble wrap and um, stuff like that so nothing gets hurt. Um, I have had a look at this guy on the internet, of course. As I say, their website, uh, Fertigate, is www.fertigate.com.au and Again, the link for that will be in the description there if it's not on the screen for you already. But let's have a look. So with the battery operated unit, this is the battery hookups or straps. They just drop ship the battery to me. So the battery arrived about a day before the, the actual unit did. And I already unboxed the battery because um, it's a big battery. Because unboxing a battery video is not that fun. So I decided just to... Um, do that first. I'm going to put that right here on the table and let's continue with our unboxing here. So, we have the charger for the battery because the battery is rechargeable, of course. We have some hose connections. Um, I'm sure the instructions will, will say what that is, but I assume that's from the faucet to the unit and then you would use your, your own garden hose for the rest. There are the instructions, which will be something I will read further into um, off video. Today we're just going to do a, a quick sort of setup and, and go over it. I did look at this online. This instruction booklet is um, on a PDF on their website as well. So I was able to see that ahead of time. Let's see what else? Lots of packaging. Hopefully I'm not missing anything in those. And so there is the unit. It does come all put together. So there's nothing we have to do other than hook up the battery. And I think hooking up the battery is pretty simple as well. All right, so there's the unit. It does come in uh, metric or imperial. I chose, um, I like teaspoons and gallons, so I chose that. 
Um, other than that, let's see. Things I know, that's what's going to go in the fertilizer. What else can I tell you about this thing while we get um, started on it? So, it's used for any kind of liquid fertilizer. Um, I would imagine you could even mix the dry fertilizer, dissolve it, and then and then use this to suck it up. My intent is mainly going to be for seaweed fertilizer. I read that you can use it for fish fertilizer as well. Wash it good after because fish fertilizer is gunky stuff. Um, and it's very simple. The controls are here. So you're going to set it to, in this case, teaspoons per gallon. And it's, it's not a flow thing. We'll get to that in a second. It actually knows how much water is going through and will adjust the dosage for the amount of water going through. So if you have the hose on quite strong or full blast and you have it set at one teaspoon per gallon, it's going to drain that pretty quickly out. But this is very versatile too. So because of this unit over here, I'm, uh, I've read, this is the, um, the flow sensing mixing module. That lets, you, lets the unit know how much water is going through and it adjusts the flow accordingly. So one of the reasons I like this being portable, I can use it for many applications. I'm gonna be able to hook it to my hose in the greenhouse and right through my hose that I would normally water with, I can then add I can folder feed my nepenthes and my orchids and stuff like that. Um, I can take this outside because it's portable, hook it up to the garden hose out there. And I'm looking forward to giving some of my plants that don't normally get a whole lot of fertilizer, like my blue poppy and some of my cypripediums and stuff like that, that I always have to remember to do it. And then I end up not having enough in the watering can and I give a little splash here and a little splash there but it never really gets enough. So I'll be able to take this around and give those a good water. Maybe my bonsais as well, my neglected bonsais. But because of this flow, um, the flow sensing mixing module, I can hook this up to my lawn sprinklers um, just by attaching this before, before the sprinkler. So you could actually like fertilize your lawn with it. I intend on actually, I wanna hook it up in the back garden and my bamboo garden up at the top. I would love to fertilize my bamboo because there's irrigation in there. Now, because it um, senses how much water, it, it can actually go in a dripping system too. So I can hook it up to a dripper, like a micro irrigation or a drip. It doesn't have to be like full blast water. It's not a Venturi sucking through here that's relying on water pressure. It is an actual pump there. So that is what I'm, I'm, I've read about it, what um, I've been told about it. So it sounds all great. Next, we're gonna hook this battery up and um, just sort of give you the full picture of what it's supposed to look like. And see All right, and there we go. So that's the battery. I kind of changed your view there a little bit so you can see it. Um, I just put it in there basically and then put the, the Velcro around it. It really makes it in there nice and sturdy and steady. The battery did feel very heavy when I first um, just had the battery, but in the actual unit, it doesn't feel heavy at all. So that's good. And while we're down a little bit lower there, I'll show you the back side of the battery. And so it just says when you're not using the unit to disconnect it there. Now I've got it plugged in and it's not doing anything. So I'm going to guess that it's not sensing water coming through here. So it's not gonna be pumping any water. And, or it could be the battery itself is just not gonna charge. So off camera, now that it's set up, I'll pack, I'll do the battery. Um, charger and make sure it's got a full charge then I think um, I'm gonna take it out into the yard um, it does come with the hose that goes from the faucet to the top of the unit here water comes in the top and goes out the bottom so it's gonna go like that so I would just attach that to my garden hose and yeah it seems really really simple there's it's just great so I'm gonna quickly detach from the back there so we don't drain the battery if the battery does have a charge in it and it doesn't hurt the unit there. And yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with it over the next few weeks when hopefully we get some nice weather. Try it out, see how it goes. And then once I know how to use the unit, I will do another video and show you guys how to use the unit. Hopefully by then um, I will be an expert on it. So I hope you like this video. Um, I wanted to thank Fertigate for this unit here. Um, definitely totally cool. I'm really excited to get using it and get going fertilizing everything now. So I hope you guys like this video and if you want to see the update on this in a few weeks make sure you subscribe to my channel.
And as always, thanks for watching.